Hello and welcome back to another episode of Moonbreaker. So the next playtest is up. I'm really excited to be getting involved in it. We had a few goes last weekend. We've tried a bit of the cargo run. We've tried a few PvP games. We've made our own lists, our own crew. We had a successful round and an unsuccessful round. So we've had a bit of variety on there as well. I've been really enjoying it so far. I'm looking forward to getting stuck back in. I think just to get started, I'm going to try something a little bit more casual than going straight back into the PvP and try another cargo run, and we're going to try it with a different crew this time. So I think that's when we can get started. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better for you guys this time as well, because I have a couple of you mentioned that it wasn't quite what you needed here. So we've tried the Valiant Justice one. We've got a vague idea of what Zach's Jakar does, but we've made an Astralist, so I want to try the Astralist and see what can work out from here. So we've got... Antios Gauntlet, who is plus three energy, sorry, plus the attack and first strike this turn. Okay, so that's a. Okay, I'm still, I'm unsure of first strike. I'm assuming first strike means maybe you can't get attacked back or you deal damage before they attack back, something along those lines. Toxoid is the flying poison model, stores one health at the end of its turn, so that's going to be good if you can get things like Plink. Plink's really useful there. Uh, Axel Pyro is the AoE Flamer. Torian Guardian, and the nearest alien range of line sight, 40% harder to hit. So it's quite a tanky one, and I think that's going to be useful for protecting other you know, melee units, particularly like Antios Gauntlet as well. Switchback, we already know Switchback, we love Switchback, probably one of my favourites so far in terms of damage output. And Novian, this is the one I can never pronounce, Bulwark, Bullock. So when it attacks, it permanently gains 25% accuracy and immobile, so this is really important positioning on this as well. So if I remember rightly, cargo run, we get to pick up little chests by moving into them and they give us extra you know, characters that are going to be dropping in, extra crew. So let's see how we go. Astra is the commander that we, or captain that we used previously. So she's got the ability to reduce costs by using their boost morale. And also she can give people, well she removes stuns so there's no summoning uh, sickness here. So what do we want to look at? So we like Sturway, a medical recall we haven't used yet. We've got a couple of tankier units, so this might be a good one, especially with things like the uh, the Bulwark that can't be redeployed. That could be interesting. Uh, charge down the shield and stasis field. They're a little bit uh, time consuming, so that might be a little bit awkward there. And so, just because it takes so long to charge up, but it is a very powerful effect. And then Vortex Beam and Plink. Again, just good and useful. I think this time I'm going to go for Stowaway and Medical Recall. We've not tried Medical Recall yet, and we've got a couple of tankier units, so that might be useful here. And also with Stowaway giving us a bit of a sort of free cinder there, it's actually you know, not having to draw additional units, or reinforce rather, then we can use Medical Recall a little bit more proactively, because that way we can then have the extra cinder to replay those units. I think Medical Recall probably works quite well with Astra. I'm also curious to see whether... Astra's boost morale reduces the cost of something even after it's gone back to the bridge again. That'll be interesting to find out if if hopefully we can do so. So, let's start with this. It starts with our turn. The question one is, win, can we get any bug. easy lines of sight? They are playing... Hang on, is that... What is this? Ecti Overcharge. Okay, so this isn't actually a normal captain. We haven't seen this captain yet. Interesting, so they get... So it's reduced accuracy and permanently give an ally in range plus two attack. So on our bridge we can deploy Antios Gaunt turn one. So I think what we're going to do, is he ranged or melee? He's ranged. Two damage and how much health has Antios Gaunt got? Six. Okay. So we're going to we're gonna move Astra up. Hopefully somewhere we can get a decent shot. I think this probably is our best option in terms of shooting power. We can use our range attack here. Um, we could boost morale, but really I don't... Actually no, because if we boost morale and get one of these two, we can play... Uh, it doesn't really work out. Let's just play Antios Gauntlet out and you know, go for a little bit of cover here and try and, sort of try and play an aggressive start. So also more models in the battlefield gives us... Okay, is that the same? Yeah, it's exactly the same. So that's good for us because we can probably... You, I mean, yeah. Oh, they missed each other. So now we've got a free reinforce, which is good. Never See if we get anyone that costs two. We've got switchback. I love switchback. That is fine by me. So, no glove. What no is glove. first strike? It still doesn't say. Our oh, targets don't fight back. Okay, that's what we thought. So we can get him up to four attack. 
and go here, so they can do the same on this side. We don't know what they've got on their bridge doing, though. So I think our plan is just going to be to boost morale, poke here. If we boost morale and we hit Axel Pyro, we can actually play it. So let's boost morale first. And we... Yeah, switch back. Okay, that's going to be a powerful option. So, we're not going to be as aggressive with this as we thought. I think I'm actually going to move maybe just over here so it maybe back here actually a path i must follow and then what can we get in terms of range so we can get to here with no minus and then we did say previously that we're going to start trying to focus on taking the models out more often obviously killing the commanders the captain is how you win but taking the models out is going to be what we're aiming for here so they have just used oh hang on permanently given ally in range to attack Pick on someone your own oh, side. Oh wow, that's crazy. Okay, so this is good for us. We can pick that up. I think we're probably just going to be using boost morale Look and literally. playing a switch back again. And oh, it brings pyro down to one. That's good for next turn. Uh, so here we are going to just Even the oldest man has go a bit defensively. Pick up like whatever. I forgot to see what that was actually. Was that someone to the bridge, or it says here? Reinforce when a rival is destroyed. Nice. So this movement is going to be further back. Range attack here. We don't need medical recall yet. However, it'll be interesting to do so. Switch back is going to come up here. I'm going to try and go for like a wider angle on switch back because it's not going to be in range of melee. And this should be a. A good way of getting you know big chunk of damage onto this next turn. Potentially we could just kill this. Or look at that, hitting them, giving themselves that plus six. Oh, that's ranged as well. We actually need to really move on to this. So their medical recalling theirs. Okay, so they got the exact same. They just got medical recalling. Playing it again for one year. So we can deal with that with switchback. Switchback costs three to two to activate. So if we wanted, we could do that and inner energy, but that gives us enough damage to straight up kill that, and this wouldn't do anything. So first of all, I think we stir away. See if we get active. Oh, toxoid, nice. Uh, boost morale because we're not going to be using this ability. See if we reduce someone down. So we've got toxoid and axel pyro as one. I think. I don't think poison. Yeah, it's crew. Not. That would be ridiculous if it was captain. Okay, so I think we're going to be actually using switch it up here. So that means Astra's going to be shooting across here. I'm going to be coming to this line here, switching it up, and then getting our range attacks onto this. To take it out. Pain so, in fact, I'm going to move the oldest man has fists. this direction first, because I kind of want them to use their attacks over here. Blow by blow. So I don't mind if he dies, basically. That's what I'm trying to get at here. And then I'm going to bring Axel Pyro in here, slightly out of range. So much to burn, so little I mean, time. I could also just medical... Re no, I kind of want them to go over here. Yeah, this is fine. So we need to really focus on their commander. Okay, this is good for Pyro. Is this is gonna be so there's no Cinder here. So this is just a walk up and punch. Yep, that's fine. They've taken taken that opportunity to run away a little, which is what we wanted them to do. So how far does Fire Flamer reach? So not very far. We can get to this and flame over there. Your face will get uh, stuck. Switch back. Can get a bad line of sight there or a good one over here. Okay, what about what's on the bridge? I think got charge. I think intercept is so. The guardian is going to be something we need here. So I actually think we're bringing ourselves down here. 
going to be boosting morale. Uh, this guy, I'm going to bring him in over here, pick up this crate, whichever it was. I didn't actually look at what it was again. It was bring down Ursic Scattervine. Amazing. Okay, that changes things because Scattervine makes more Scattervines. So what I'm going to do is actually just use all of these Scattervines all over the place and start using these to ping the commander. I don't think we get attack back for too much here. Yeah, okay. I'll make him proud. So we're gonna start trying to get our range attacks in. Switchback needs to take something out here. So I think what we're gonna do is actually just move over here, take out the one we know we can kill, make things a bit easier. Oh, because yeah, when we kill something, we reinforce, is that all right? Yeah, that's how. So Toxoid is also free. So, we want to get good line of sight down there. Oh, we've already moved. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're going to keep plinking here, basically. It's not really plink, but it's what we're going to do. And then I think that's... So we've still got movement with these. Oh my god, so yeah, we could have moved and then placed... Oh, this is not so... Yeah, we're going to move here. And we're going to attack. Oh yeah, I forgot that that was a thing. So I'm going to move over here. I kind of want to keep one Scattervine alive. Uh, Toxoid doesn't have charge, does it? No. So Toxoid is going to come in here to basically try and convince them to attack over here. And I th actually think we're going to recall the Scattervine. What a relief. Because we want the Scattervine next turn we've got more. Um, I keep wanting to say CP, Cinder. So I'm treating this as if it was a real game, even though it's got a, a different strategy to it. This Scattervine can move. So I think, if anything, I just want to move to about here. And maybe, yeah, here's about right to make this as difficult as possible to move. We've still got one Scattervine we can use. We've got a bit of Cinder to do so. I feel like, okay, yeah, they're still just pumping them up. This guy can damage here, but we've got this guaranteed dead next turn. Okay, so this Ursix is dead. With you till the end. And they've got Enforcer when it damages attacks all units. Okay. So Orc is immobile, Scatterfine, Guardian. So Toxoid is gonna kill here. Oh, we got to attack back again. Interesting. And then I actually think I want to hide this over here. Scattervine is going to make another Scattervine here. Do we get... We get attacked back for two here. Which is fine, I think. We're okay with that. We're going to do another growth over here. And we're going to try and trap this commander into place. And then, this is the new one. No. How come we can't use the new one? I thought we'd be able to use this straight away. And I thought we've got two Cinder left. So I'm a little confused. Oh, we don't have... No available... We're out of reinforcements. Okay. Nice battle shorts. So. We can get over here. Pick up... Uh, we're going to switch it up and go for the range attack over here. Just trying. Okay, I was hoping to hit something, but missing everything is not ideal. I don't understand why I can't go. Oh, now I do because I've not. I've used it now, but that's fine. Okay, we get all these melee attacks in. I'm going to try and get used to using keyboard shortcuts. Lovely day for a cookout. Oh, so this is only an ability, isn't it? Yeah, so kind of want to be moving over here, keep it a bit more safe. Rage attack over here. Because we don't need many Ursic Scatterwinds to live, we just need one, because then we get to keep it in our crew for next turn. Uh, and I think that is everyone that we want here. So we could do a bit of movement here, but I don't think we need to. I'm happy with this. So they've obviously got more they can do. Oh, so that dispersion shot struck me. Yeah. 
That's fine, there's another scattervine dead. You said it. Got another scattervine here still. Okay, so we've got medical recall next turn, so if Toxoid lives, we'll probably recall that. Okay, what's this? Restore three health to a unit. Okay. So this is probably what we're killing here, and then we're going to keep on spamming things in this direction. So let's go with this, get that one, bring it down to one. Hang on. Armor. Reduce damage one. So that doesn't actually kill it. Oh dear. Okay, well now Toxoid's just dead. Your face will get stuck. Unless we can kill this another way. So what's the lowest reduction in line of sight we got? I can't see what it is there. I think... That looks like this might be lower. So we can switch up, but it's already switched up. So let's just go for this and see what we get. Hopefully we get some damage. Okay, that's good news. Uh, we might as well boost morale here. Save it for another turn. Range attack here. Okay, that missed. Oh, that's why we can't scatter mine, because we've got more too many units. So we keep attacking here. And then I think what we're going to do is basically try and use our fire flamer in a cone so that we only hit their unit. Yeah, this seems fun. For a second I thought I could reuse that. Uh, who is this? Deadeye. Deadeye is stunned. Can we... Can't reach that, so... Do we get to choose which unit? No, it just went out. Okay, that wasn't what I was hoping for. Oh, but we can now enter the breach. Okay, so... We can move here. Give herself more accuracy. And range attack down here. I could do this all okay, we're day. making some progress. This is not good, this situation with the uh, reducing damage. But we've got medical recoil, so recoil, recoil. A beautiful okay, we kind of just want to get switched back in range of this. Here we go. Again. Oh, it's going to kick Toxoid. I was really hoping it wasn't going to be Toxoid. Before, but it makes sense. And they're going to pull that back. Oh, that's brutal. I think now we need to just start rushing their captain. This is actually quite a long game for a Trikalgo uh, run, because I'm trying really hard to play properly. Got a fire in my heart. So, so here for instance, this needs to, to die. Does Recall heal two health? Got oh, this is such a challenge. So I think we're going to be moving here, growing over here. Again, we're trying to save our units. So we can fire flamer to hit three targets here, that's excellent. Let's so let's just do that straight away. So what does the ability do again? Two damage will reach an area and burn them. Burning does one damage for the next three turns and that's healed. Nice. So switch up is rapid fire and slow. So we can try and take out their switch back is I think what we're gonna have to go for here. So we just want as little reduction in or I suppose we could try and find a line to just try and kill them. So how many wounds have they got left? Seven. We've got a, a line here with minimal interference. So let's try this. If this works, just don't miss any. Yes, okay, so we're in a good spot now. Uh, I think what we also want to do is medical recall something like this pyro, get him two more health back, because he's already done his action anyway, and this will be good for the next like issue of the cargo run. And then we're just going to attack with these guys, so I mean, I don't know if we need to do anything else. Just take the uh, six scattervine there. There we go, Captain down. So that was a, a lot longer than I thought. I was trying to be as efficient as possible. I only lost a couple of uh, units. We do heal a bit at the end. And I think we've picked up nearly picked up more units than we lost there. 
I wonder if the reinforce continues on to the... Uh, that should be 50? Yeah, 50. I was like, I wonder if reinforce carries on to the... into, like, your crew. Because, essentially, the reinforce initially just brings it into your hand, basically. But what if you've got one waiting and you can't have any more units on the battlefield? Does that then go into your crew for the next battlefield? The problem is, I can't remember what we went for. So, I can look at you know, just what we've got here and see if there is anything different. Right, so those units that we picked up haven't stayed because I picked up an Ursic Scattervine and that was back in my hand and we haven't got that anymore. So maybe you just keep the initial list? I wonder if there's a an information thing on Cargo Run. I mean, I plan on continuing. Okay, you can't see from there anyway. Okay, so there's nothing here that really tells us what's going on. None of this will be... No, because this is all just tutorial. Okay, so there's a few think few questions we've still got about Cargo Run. I think that's going to be uh, you know, interesting to have a look at and see what we can find out. So, thank you very much for watching this first video. I feel like we've done really well in sort of you know, figuring out how we want to use the different units. Astra's so far the captain that I've enjoyed the most, especially with the... Uh... Oh, reinforce when Astra destroys a crew. I've missed that as well. I've missed that the whole time. I was probably wondering why I was drawing crew sometimes, but... Yeah, so when Astra destroys a crew, we reinforce for free. So we've actually, in that one, we had double free reinforce if we were playing that. So that's probably a bit overkill on that, but medical recall was interesting, reinforce was good. Again, we're going to try and look at different combinations of assists to see what we can find out. I really like the combination of Astra's abilities. I like Into the Breach as like a utility thing rather than just an aggro one, which is interesting as well, especially if she's only one damage. So uh, Axel Pyro was actually quite good there. One to activate is very useful, and there's you know, little tricks you can do with positioning, which is nice. Uh, Torian Guardian, again, we didn't get to use it, but I think that was intentional. We wanted to try and keep our units alive. Switchback we love, and I'm not going to get over Switchback anytime soon. I think Switchback and then maybe like Amplifier Bytel is like something I'd like to play. Uh, I've been trying to already. Novian Bulwark, uh, permanent gains 25% accuracy mobile. This seems really difficult to use, but we'll try. And then Deadeye, which we got out towards the end but didn't really use much of. So that'll be it for this very first video. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been much appreciated. I've really been enjoying making this content so far. I'm really glad we've got a chance to get another series of videos. Please, please let me know in the comments anything you want to see, anything you'd, you'd like, you don't like, that sort of thing. And also just, you know, please, if you do want to, subscribing would really make me feel a little bit more <laughs> enthusiastic over uh, genuinely every time I see the numbers go up on views, subscribers, comments. It's been really, really encouraging. So thank you for all of that, and hopefully you'll have a good day.